Let me de-stress for just a little while And when I reset, I'm coming back with a smile Yo, what's good? It's Mike Hicks. I'm sitting in my car outside of my house just because. So I just cut this song I'm excited about. It's called Reset. I want to give everybody a glimpse into that process, how it works. So the whole concept of the song, if I could put it in the perfect space, it would be on the drive home from work or a frustrating day or a gig or something. That in-between space where you got the people, the events, the circumstances, the stuff that made the day a rough day, and then the people at your next destination, whether it's at home, at the gig, uh, wherever, that will probably catch all of the wrath that spills over from earlier, but that they have nothing to do with. You know, as a writer, most of my stuff starts with the concept, lyrically. And um, it was like... Um, Let me relax for just about three minutes. In a bad space, honestly, I don't want to pull you in it. Had a strange day, it's not like you did it. If it's okay, can I explain? And you just listen. Um, and from there, I made a um, a track. Let me relax for just about three minutes. I'm in a bad space, and honestly, I don't want to pull you in it. Uh, just a demo track. And production for me goes through the band. I like to test it out and see if it works live. So. You know, I brought it to my band and we and we played it out a couple of times and it seemed to work. People seemed to get it. I decided to go ahead and cut it. And I'm in a place where I don't want to produce all my own stuff. So I reached out to a friend of mine. Uh, a guy by the name of Dewan Hill. He's an incredible singer, songwriter, musician, producer, just an incredible human being. And uh, I sent Dewan like 10 or 11 songs. I was like, hey man, you know, let's work together, man. If you hear something that grabs you, you know, let's do it. And so, he, uh, he hit me back and the first thing he said was, man, you know, that reset to him, I'm really feeling. So, you know, I put it in his hands. And, uh, you know, it was it was kind of simple how it all worked. We went to the studio in Nashville. Welcome to 1979 Studios. And, um, you know, Dewan had an engineer that he worked with named uh, Garrett. And, uh, and that was a little foreign to me because for those who know me know that, you know, I work with James Waddell, a good friend of mine on just about everything I do. And so it felt like uh, foreign territory, definitely. Dewan brought in uh, some incredible players. Nathan Duggar played acoustic guitar. Uh, Akil Thompson played electric and my brother, Kyle was on drums and Adrian Taylor was on bass. I played some keys and Dewan played some keys. The interesting thing about this was that most of the time I start from my Wurlitzer or my Rhodes. And everybody knows that's kind of the, the canvas that I start from. Real organic, uh, electromechanical keyboards. And uh, there's none of that on this song. We actually didn't track with any keys at first. Um, Cause it just felt good with just bass, guitar, and drums. Is that the first? Is that the first or the second? 
and then we went in and we added some uh, some old analog synthesizer stuff. We had a uh, a Prophet Five and an Oberheim that we used, and that was real cool. My first time doing that. The first one, two, three. Can you start me at a <laughs> at a at a verse? Yeah. <laughs> tape two inch tape and it was a novelty of it for me at first um, but then I mean you hear the warmth and, and the difference that it makes and, uh, and so that was really cool here comes the ice cream truck it needs to tune that joint so day one we did a half day at welcome to 1979 studios where we tracked bass, drums, guitar, and keys. And then day two was a lot of fun because we just so happened to run across a time where a friend of mine, one of my best friends, and uh, one of my most consistent and reliable collaborators, uh, Melvin Lightford, we call him Maestro here in Nashville. Maestro had a session where he was recording strings, harp, a rhythm section, percussion, all kind of stuff. And so we slipped in and uh, we got in some harp with Amy McKinney on harp. Some of the members of the Life Music Funkestra on strings. After that, we left and recorded vocals. Myself, um, a good friend of mine, Moiba Mustafa, who he sang on the song I Want You Back on my project, This Is Life. I'm letting you know, I'm letting it go so we can enjoy the rest. Is that it? Yep. 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 Enjoy, the, enjoy the rest. Nice voice. Okay, cool. Here it is again. With you today just hasn't quite been the best I'm letting you go, I'm letting it go So we can enjoy the rest We said Can you get me on a Enjoy the rest T, I need a T in there Enjoy the rest Yep, All right. this is the very last one Here it is I'm letting you go, I'm letting it go So we can enjoy the rest We said Yes sir Oh and also had vocals by my little sister, Kaya Lacey, uh, who I just believe is a superstar. So I was glad to get her uh, while I could. Almost. Almost. It was very close. Just add some vibrato on that last Am one. Am I supposed to be ending the same time as they do? Or? I'm, yeah, I'm, no. Okay. No, you're on your own. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> The last two notes need to be separated longer. Ma'am? That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for, yes. Okay, it's 
I'll take the last one. Let's try it again. I gotta do the Holy Ghost hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And um, yeah, after that, we left the studio, went, got some food, and did some editing. The next day, went to mix, and it was done in a matter of a couple of days. So, I hope you dig the tune, and um, and I hope it's something that you can use. Let me relax for just about three minutes. I'm in a bad space and honestly, I don't want to pull you in it I've had a strange day and it's not like you did it If it's okay, can I explain? Can you just listen? Oh whoa. I just need some time to get this off my chest And in a second for my mind to simply reset To be real with you today just hasn't quite been the best I'm letting you know I'm 